Yes, a flyer has started circulating yet again. The first time we saw this was around April. Now we're seeing it again, but is it real? We set out to verify. The flyer claims the Department of Homeland Security is mobilizing the National Guard. It says the president will use the Stafford Act and will order a two week mandatory quarantine for the whole country. The flyer says that means all businesses are closed and everybody stays home. The letter also claims that the military and first responders will join guard members to protect against looters and rioters. It encourages people to stay home and stock up on essential items to last them two weeks. But all of that isn't necessary because this flyer is false. The Georgia National Guard tweeted that the letter circulating is a hoax, saying it was false in April and is still false now. As you just said, it's been going on since March or April. And so we're almost at March and April again, and nobody's seen any Humvees making them stay in the house. None of us in uniform has been out here pointing at people saying, if you don't put your mask on, we're going to arrest you. You know, none of those things have happened. And I will tell you, in the same way that they said it almost a year ago and it didn't happen, they're saying it again and it's not going to happen. The same flyer is also going around the country this week. On Tuesday, the Ohio, West Virginia, Oklahoma, and Texas National Guards reiterated the letter is fake. And even if this claim were true, the Stafford Act itself makes no mention of a national quarantine, shutdown, or lockdown. Our national verified team confirmed that back in March. The act is geared towards disaster relief. Another fun fact about the Stafford Act is that it's used fairly often. According to a report from the Congressional Research Service, it's used on average nearly 36 times a year. President Trump approved emergency declarations under the Stafford Act, most recently after the Nashville bombing on Christmas Day, and again this week in D.C. after the Capitol attack for safety during President-elect Biden's inauguration. Reporting in Megan, Ashlyn Webb, 13W Amazing News.